Running 26.2 miles is an accomplishment for anyone, especially if you're living with a physical condition like multiple sclerosis. 22 News reporter Tamara Sakarzik sat down with a resident who, against all odds, is running in Monday's Boston Marathon. He might look like the average Boston Marathon runner. I'm healthy enough to run, um, and I just want to take advantage of that. But when Bernardo Quadra crosses the finish line Monday, he'll reach a milestone millions before him never could, completing a 26.2 mile race with multiple sclerosis. My initial symptom was double vision, and that lasted about a month. It all started four years ago when Bernardo noticed something wasn't quite right. Months later, he was diagnosed with MS. When I first was diagnosed, uh, I sort of struggled with the whole idea of, you know, what might happen you know, down the road in, in a year or five years or ten years. But he also knew he didn't want to let a disease hold him back, which is why he signed up to run the Boston Marathon as part of the National MS Society. After months of training and fundraising, he'll finally cross the finish line with his team, the Marathon Strides Against MS. More than a dozen of Bernardo's family members will be at the finish line to cheer him on as he finishes the race. But they won't be his only fans on Boylston Street. His MS support group is also driving in a bus from Connecticut to Boston just to watch him run in the Boston Marathon. The reason and the goal that this for him means and for us is certainly uh, rather a great uh, situation, a great event for us. Yeah. Bernardo says through his journey, his eight-year-old son Dylan has been one of his biggest motivators. Once the race is over, he hopes one message will continue to resonate with him. If you're dedicated to it, that... Um, that you can actually achieve what you're trying to get. So I hope he picks that up from all this. And it's a message that will likely resonate with hundreds of others. In Wilbraham, Tamara Sakarzik, 22 News.